Hello and welcome back to the first episode of NXT. Um, last time we actually did an episode of WWE Raw. This time it will be NXT. Alright, so the first matchup will be a rematch between Barnett and Crow, actually. Um, as they have... They had quite the awesome matchup during the uh, tournament. So, uh, they agreed to a nice civil rematch. Uh, simply because it was such a great match, they wanted to, uh... They wanted to see who would win a second time, see if, um... Would be anything different. We do have another rematch later on tonight, um, and that will be John Wick versus Gavin Henderson. As John is really pissed that he got taken down by uh, by Henderson, so we'll see that later on tonight. But this first matchup will be just Crow versus Barnett. So let's go ahead and uh, get Barnett out here. Have this match up begin as Barnett makes his way down to the ring. Look at that man. He is built like a tank. And uh, I'm honestly surprised that he lost in the tournament to Crow. Uh, I didn't expect Crow to beat him. He is quite the, uh, quite the competitor right there. Him and Ryan would have been a great match. We'll have to set that up at hopefully next week. No, definitely next week. We'll see if they'll agree to a uh, civil match next week. And uh, let's go ahead and get this match underway. Alright. So, there's one of the competitors. The other one is getting ready. Probably taking off his cloak... What's this? Uh, what is Adam Cole doing out here? He should not be out here right now. Um, this is not what was originally planned. This is interesting. This is very different. It should have just been uh, Crow and Barnett. They were just having a civil rematch. Adam Cole had nothing to do in this. Why is he making his way out here? Is he going to just join the match? I know he's pretty pissed off at uh, at Crow, because Crow, even though he got hit um, from behind, or did he get hit? I don't remember if he got hit or if he reversed it, but he got attacked be from behind by uh, Adam Cole's little follower. He did still manage to beat Adam Cole, and Adam Cole actually pulled off his finisher just to still lose to Crow. I don't even know if Adam Cole would be able to keep up with all of the superstars in the ring. Crow and Barnett, Ryan, John Wick, Gavin. I don't know if Adam Cole would be able to keep up with all these competitors. He's going to have to do a lot of improvement in order to uh, stay in the ring with them. So I guess, <laughs> I guess he's inserted himself into the match. So we'll just have to see how this goes then. As we start off NXT with a surprising start. Let's get this match underway, apparently. Oh, and Adam Cole's going straight after Barnett, who doesn't even stumble. He just picks up Adam Cole and throws him over his back like it's nothing. And then Crow, just ignoring the fact that Adam Cole's here, and holy shit, that was an awesome DDT going for a pin right out of the way. One. Oh, not even a one count. Oh, and Adam Cole, obviously, going after Crow. And <laughs> is Crow just going to throw him out? Oh, nope, he just tosses him across the ring. And attention back to Barnett, who clotheslines Crow onto the mat. And he's picking him back up. I think he's going to put him in the corner. No! Ooh! He drops him on his knee. Slamming him on his knee repeatedly. And then he goes after Adam Cole. Who gets a DDT off of Bar on Barnett? I'm not sure how he uh, managed to do that. As another DDT! Holy shit! He's managed to take down Barnett. And now Crow is in on the matter. Oh, he went for another DDT. But this time, he's the one being DDT'd. Uh, no? Oh! Oh, that's gonna hurt your head. 
Both men are fighting Adam Cole with a super kick to Crow on one knee. And now Barnett taking control, trying to pin him. One. Oh, <laughs> barely kicked out after one. I'm surprised he didn't get a two count, honestly. Is he knocked out? <clears throat> he is knocked out. Okay. So, Adam Cole was already knocked out. And looks like Barnett has just knocked out Crow. Stomping on the back of his head. Oh, that's going to hurt quite a bit. Oh, and big strikes to the forehead of Crow. Grabbing him by the dreadlocks. And Adam Cole's back up and awake. And he's making his way back in. Barnett manages to pick up Crow and throw him across the ring. Crow's not exactly small. Adam Cole with a super kick to Barnett's forehead. Almost knocking him out. Going for another one. And fails to do so. As he's flung backwards. As Barnett just heaves him out of the way. One. Oh, one count on him again. And Crow just resting on the outside. Ooh, a strike to the back of the kneecap. Oh, and Crow's back, and he is going after Barnett. I thought he was going after uh, Adam Cole at first. Barnett's back up to his feet. Oh, and he deflects the baseball bat with his fist. And superplex. No, not a superplex. He fails to superplex him. Oh, it's a flatliner onto a baseball bat. Holy shit, Adam Cole, you should go for the pin right now. Stomping on the wrist. Uh, to flip him over, it looks like. Oh, double hand, axe handle, uh, strike. And going for another superplex. And he does succeed on this one. Oh, and Crow landed on the baseball bat. Is Adam Cole actually going to pin somebody? One. Oh. He got a one count on Crow. That's not looking good. Um, he is taking advantage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the finish. Crow is going to stop it, though. Oh! Crow stops it before it's even begun. Bounced off the ropes. Oh, man, he's thrown over Adam Cole's back. I don't know where Adam Cole's getting all the strength from, but he has managed to take absolute control over this matchup. And uh, both men are down. And both men are very, very angry at Cole right now. This could uh, this could lead to lead to a rivalry between Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era versus Barnett and Crow. Could be a very interesting matchup as Barnett hasn't had enough. <laughs> he is done with all the bullshit. He's using a crowbar on Adam Cole, but throws it down for Crow. He doesn't want to injure his potential friend here. As they are trying to continue the match, even though Adam Cole is trying to get in between them. Ooh, a superplex onto the top rope. Ooh, he hangs him on the top rope by the gut. And he's going to pull him out. Is he going to go for the pen, or is he going to go for a signature? Because uh, all three men have signatures. Oh, he's going to hit Adam Cole with his signature, I would assume. No, just a superplex onto the sledgehammer. Adam going for his signature fails to connect, and Barnett just throws him on the rope, hanging him by his neck on the top rope. Oh, but it's reversed into a toe drop, and he goes for a, a strike with a sledgehammer and fails to do so. Hits Crow instead, but Barnett from behind, oh, with an angle slam it looks like, and he goes for a pin on Crow. One, two, three, and he has pinned Crow. He just wanted to end that matchup quickly. It looks like Crow was, uh, not doing so good after he got hit in the gut with a sledgehammer. They're going to have to uh, have a talking to uh, Adam Cole coming up shortly. And Barnett was a beast in this. He just annihilated everybody. Unfortunately, Crow uh, got hit several times by an assortment of weapons. But... Uh, Adam Cole has really been causing some trouble for some of these new people. We'll have to see where this leads to. Let's move on to the next matchup. The uh, Cruiserweight Division matchup tonight.
All right, starting up this next match immediately. Apparently, uh, everybody was already in the ring. It is Neville versus Chad Gable versus uh, Johnny Gargano versus Mustafa Ali. Ooh. And they are just fighting in this fatal four-way. There's no real uh, regards as to anything. There's no promises. Just a good old fight. And Neville taking complete advantage of Chad Gable here. Oh, and Ali with a double drop kick to the back of uh, Johnny Gargano's head. Knocked him out cold. Oh, nope, he's back up to his feet. And slams Ali into the stairs. Chad Gable getting manhandled by the king of the cruiserweights. And uh, Johnny making his way into the ring to fight Neville for the first time ever. And he goes for a pin. One count. He does manage to get a one count the first time he tries to pin Neville. Oh, and then he's reversed immediately. Met with an elbow strike. And carried away. He's walking him around. <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to do with there. Chad Gable taking advantage of Ali and knocking him out. And now Neville has the upper hand once more and has beat the ever-living Christ out of Johnny Gargano. Ooh, a big slam, a belly-to-belly -belly from Neville, uh, sending Johnny Gargano to also sprawl outside of the ring, knocked out. And Neville slung against the ropes, Chad Gable going for something, but failing to connect. <laughs> and Neville uses Chad Gable as a weapon against Ali. Oh, and then they both drop him on their knees. Oh my god, that could be very detrimental to uh, Chad Gable, as his abdomen is crushed by the pair. And Johnny Gargano, oh boy, holy shit is correct. Oh my god. God, Ali just taking out Johnny Gargano as Johnny Gargano just got an exploder on Neville and then Ali with a double drop kick and a German suplex on Johnny Gargano taking out both Johnny Gargano and Chad Gable. Chad Gable slowly making it back up to his feet and making his way onto the outside. I think he's going after Neville. Meanwhile, it looks like Ali is going for a signature move. Pac helping him. Or Neville. Neville, Pac, whatever. Oh, a kick to the back and then a... Oh my god, they're working together. Ali is going to have to break up the pin right there, but <laughs> they've been working together all matchup. Now we get to see them fight each other, which should be interesting, to say the least. Uh, Ali does manage to roll out, but Neville's not done with him. He goes for a strike and misses. Ali phases through him and grabs him by the back of the neck, putting him in the corner, head first, and then... Oh, I don't even know what the hell that was, but that was cool. He just spun him in a circle and then slammed his face. It was like a spinning face buster. Neville gets out of it. Chad Gable tosses Johnny Gar Gargano over the top rope. Goes for a strike. Is met with an elbow. And Johnny Gargano with a spear through the ropes and he fails. One count. Two. Oh, almost a two count with Neville pinning Ali. And now it's just Neville. Nope. Now everybody's outside of the ring. There is a chair and a baseball bat in this. Oh, Johnny Gargano averting the uh, baseball bat. Chad with a double drop kick to the back of Neville, but Neville isn't even taken down. He just throws Gable into the steps, and he's the last man standing. And he's got a chair. Oh, a chair to the back of the head of Gable, and he might be out. No, he's got the chair back. And he hits Neville back with it, and Ali, meanwhile, throwing Johnny Gargano across the side, and Neville suplexed onto the stairs and then hit in the head with a baseball bat. Repeatedly. Oh my god. Gable has lost it. Johnny Gargano being sent into the ring. Ali could go for a pin right here. And if he manages to pull it off, both men on the outside are distracted right now. Nope, Gable is back in. He is going after somebody. And Ali, can he make it from all the way up? No, he's not even going to try that. Oh, Gargano gets out of it with an elbow to the face of Gable. Oh, Gable unleashes the beast, but too late, too little, too late, as Gargano does manage to pull off a move. Neville goes for the pin on it. <laughs> Gargano was taken by surprise. He didn't even see him get on top. And he's taken down into an armbar. Ali going up top after Chad Gable does not connect. Gargano gets out of the armbar into a head scissors, a spinning head scissors, and now he's going to go after Ali or Neville. 
He's still going after Neville. Ali is also going after Neville. Everyone's going after Neville, except for Gable, who is knocked out in the center of the ring. Slowly getting back to his feet, Neville gets out of the way, and Ali also reverses it. Simultaneously, a powerbomb and a superplex by Chad Gable and Ali, as Chad Gable puts Gargano into a lock of his own. And he's spinning the arm and twisting the arm and slams the shoulder down. Ali trying to go up top, but Gable finds him, and he's going to throw him off the top with an arm drag landing him into the center of the ring and now he's going after Neville who is going to just take it oh real hard with a uh, headlock neck breaker from Gable and now Gable is taunting him with a sledgehammer hitting him in the back of the leg it's the same place we saw Finn Balor get hit with a chair oh and now the front of the leg of the other leg now he's just taking out that shin Gargano, meanwhile, just waiting on Ali to wake up so he can continue the fight. He's circling the ring like a shark. No, he's going for the baseball bat. Oh, and Ali with a big forearm to uh, Gable's face and slams him easily on the ground. Gargano going for a headlock. He could tap out the King of the Cruiserweights right here. Ali's going to break that up as he kicks Gargano to the back of the shoulder. And now Ali and Gargano facing off in the center of the ring. And Gargano does get the upper hand as he suplexes uh, Ali, sending him onto the edge of the apron. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, and he uses the top rope as a suplex of some sort. And he puts down Ali. He's going for the pin now. One count. Not even, not even a two count. And Ali's back to his feet going for a strike and he does not connect but he attacks Neville instead Ooh, with an inverted DDT meanwhile Gable taken advantage of by Gargano as Gargano puts him in a lock of his own doing the exact same move that Gable did to him he slams his shoulder onto the uh, mat he's gonna go for a pin here he is no he's not he's he was gonna go for another uh, of his I think it was his signature or his finisher Oh, yeah, he's going for his finisher, the um, Gargano Lock. And he does manage to kick out as Ali broke up the Gargano Lock. Oh! Neville just did not connect in any way with the Sledgehammer. He does go to strike Gable, but Gable gets out of it. He goes for a double drop kick, but Neville gets out of that. And now Gargano with his comeback. Close lines. Oh, and then he rolls him back and a roundhouse kick to the skull. Chad Gable getting in between things and throwing Neville into the corner and now he's got Gargano all to himself oh the big suplex Gable has the strength of two men he's got the strength of a heavyweight fighting in a cruiserweight oh but he's taken down by an enziguri that knocks him out cold he's on the outside Neville meanwhile knocking down Gargano who seems to be having some sort of issue with his nervous system as he uh, starts to seize up a little bit. That uh, can't be good. Seemed to have a lot of injuries here early on in WWE. We need to... Oh my god! He's hit in the back of the head by Ali, who then takes advantage of Neville, dropping him head first onto the baseball bat. He's done for. And Johnny Gargano gets him in a small package pile driver on top of the sledgehammer. Oh, crushing his chest. He's going for <laughs> he's going for the finish and fails. Yeah, he's really having some issues right there. He is really having some issues. Chad, Ali, at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Simultaneously, Gargano's down. He's not getting up. One <laughs> Oh man. Gargano might as well be dead. Oh, Gable with a backbend suplex to Ali. Oh, they're both hit with a baseball bat by Neville, who is pissed. Inverted DDT from Ali, who's hit in the spinal column, and then in the skull by Neville. Everyone is down but Neville. Neville could go for the pin right here. Oh, arm drag as Ali gets out of it. Gargano going for the pin now. 
going for Gable misses. Oh, Gable almost penned after being hit with a baseball bat. Gargano now taking full control as he knocks out Ali, and Ali rolls to the outside onto the floor, and he is completely out of it. And Neville, oh, Neville is met with one of Gargano's moves. It looked like a spinning inverted DDT, which is very interesting. And now Neville is barely up. Oh, the flatliner into the turnbuckle. Busts his head open and Gable to break it up as to not let Gargano win. And now Gable's going after Neville. No, he's going after Gargano, but he gets Neville up just in case he gets pinned. Oh, a DDT onto the kendo stick. And now he's getting him back up to his feet for a kick to the gut, a mule kick of sorts. And a package pile driver to Gable. This could be it. Gargano, is he going to go for the pen right here? No, he's going to go for Neville! A kick to the face as Neville rolls into the ring, sitting straight up. Oh, and a double drop kick landing him on top of the table. We have every single weapon in existence in this match. We've had a chair, a baseball bat, a sledgehammer, a kendo stick, and a table. The only thing remaining is the uh, stepladder, which Ali could be pulling out right now. Speaking of, there's the stepladder, but is Gable going to tap out? Is Gable going to tap out, or is Ali going to get to him first? Oh, he manages to get to him just barely in time as Gable looks like he was about to tap out. Gargano with a super kick to Gable. Gable rolls out of the ring, and Neville takes out Gargano with a back body suplex. And uh, now all four competitors in the center of the ring, and a powerbomb by Neville landing him in the center. Going for the pen one. Oh, saved by Gable. And Neville ignoring Gable completely as he struck with a kendo stick to the gut by Ali, who reversed his strike. Oh, and Ali just hit Gargano through Gable, who gets an arm trapped suplex, leaving the kendo stick standing straight up. That could be very dangerous if somebody goes up top. It is just stuck straight into the mat. And Gable throws Ali into the center or into the uh, into the up, upper left corner and sends Neville into the upper right corner and Gable has full control no Neville has full control and both of the other competitors are knocked out if he can manage to pull something big off right here oh Gable taking control now slinging him into the other corner as he started to get out of it and what is he trying here all he's gonna do is finisher I believe that's his finisher. Oh, a German suplex. One count. Ooh, almost a two count. Gargano breaking it up. And Gargano with a drop onto the table. Ali is still standing. He's going up top. This could be bad. This could be bad. Just go from the top. No, okay, okay. And he kicks Gargano to break the lock. Oh, and he's still going for Gargano. Gargano has not been able to pull off that move for much longer than two seconds. Gargano throwing Gable outside of the ring. Ali taking advantage of it with an enziguri, a backflip to show off. And now Gargano is standing on the outside of the ring, hung over on the apron. Oh, he's waking up slowly. And Ali going for a strike. Oh, what's he doing? A powerbomb onto the outside on the concrete. And gosh, damn. Gargano is probably out of it at this point. He was already having some... Oh, that super kick, and Gable has activated his uh, abilities, I guess, as he turns into a beast, and he's going after the table, met with an inverted uh, DDT, inverted head drop, I don't know what that was called, oh my god, into a pin, oh, he almost skewered himself on the kendo stick, which is still sticking out of the ring post. Oh, that hit him right in the face. <laughs> there was no protection against that. Gargano just got smacked in the face. Oh, Ali for another one. Another pin. One, two. Oh, he's kicked out. Neville wasn't even going to stop him. Neville said, you deserve that one. He's going up top again. The third. The third time. Oh, man. Going for a pin. One, two. Three. All right, they've given it to him. At that point, they've seen him pull off that move over and over and over. It's like some camaraderie. I'm not sure why they just let him win. I know Neville was working with Ali most of the match. That could be a potential tag team. 
right there. He could go for uh, the NXT tag titles. So we haven't decided a challenger for Kalisto and um, Dorado. It could be a potential Neville and Ali versus everyone else. Um, but that was, he pulled that move off three times flawlessly, and then Neville just decided to give it to him right there. Gargano managed to kick out, but Ali really did deserve that win. And both of the other competitors decided that it was so. They just stood and watched. They didn't lose. They're not losing face, they're just having some good old camaraderie. That was quite the move. And our final matchup of tonight, it is John Wick against Gavin Henderson one more time. Uh, John Wick trying to show his prowess once more and uh, show that he is not going to be beaten by Gavin. Is he going to go for the strike? No. Yes. No. Okay. A little bit of technical wrestling here at the very beginning, as it usually starts off with the uh, upper card wrestlers in the NXT. Oh, he slammed straight down to the mat by John. Who manages to get the upper hand here? Oh, but he struck and immediately one strike in is busted open. He is bleeding heavily out of that wound in his head. Gavin with one strike just busted open the assassin. A clothesline. Oh man, I don't, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to show off that he can still compete. He's already been busted open by Gavin. Gavin going for a pin, respectively. So. Not even a one count. Both at about equal health. Somehow, uh, he did manage to bust his head open, though. <laughs> John, pretty pissed about that. He's pissed about losing in the tournament. And now he's pissed about getting his head busted open. Oh, he's going to the middle rope. Oh, the falling fist to the skull of Gavin. Not busting him open, however. Gavin's skull remains intact. Oh, an arm drag. As he throws him across the ring and into the corner. And Gavin's slowly get, getting back to his feet, using the corner to rest, but he's slung up in on top of the uh, top turnbuckle, and arm dragged off of it into the center of the ring into a pin. One count, two count, oh, it was a two count by John Wick. John almost pulled it off right there. And uh, Gavin taking back advantage with a double drop kick to the shoulder of John. And John could be in trouble here if he doesn't get back control. As uh, Gavin manages to do another spinning DDT of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what that would be called, but it sort of looked like a DDT. And he wraps his arm around his leg. Oh, no. Oh, God. I think he just broke John Wick's shoulder. Oh, man. That cannot be good. Oh, a strike to the center mass of John Wick. And a leg drop DDT from Gavin Henderson. And John Wick is stumbling around. He doesn't know where he's at. He's met with a clothesline but fails to connect. Oh, an arm drag! He jumped into that arm drag, rolling across the stadium. Oh, an inverted DDT onto the concrete floor. As he continues to take out his anger on Gavin Henderson, slamming him into the barricade. The steel barricade. A slap to the chest and another arm drag. That looked like it hit the barricade once more. And just a toss, a double choke toss. And John has his finisher. Is he going to go for it on the outside, try and tap him out? No, he throws him back into the ring. And he slides back in himself. And, uh, oh, he's going for the finish. He's going for his triangle lock. I don't think we saw it in the tournament. No, he's going for the th triple clotheslines. And the third. Yes, he does manage to pull it off, and he goes for the pin. One count. Two count. Oh! Kicks out barely at three. Almost a three count. John Wick is pretty upset about that as well. Um, he's already had his head busted open. He's already lost a match to Gavin. And now he can't even pull off a pin after his finisher. And he's thrown out to the outside right after he uh, has a fit at the, ret and he does, uh, at the ref. And he does manage to pull off a toe drop leg sweep. Uh, knocking him onto the floor, but Gavin gets back up to his feet, and he's back in control once more. Gavin taking full control this entire match, except for on the outside. John Wick seems to have better control on the outside. Oh, 
He does manage to pull off the strike and a leg drop DDT once more. And he's going to go for the finish. Is he going to go for the finish? Oh, sit out Uranagi. He could go for the finish. Is he feeling it? Oh, an elbow drop. Kip up. Oh, he's just showing off now. He goes for the pin. One. Kicked out at one. Okay, John's not going down that easily. Gavin has beat him before. This could turn into quite the rivalry. Oh, my God. One arm choke slam. Oh, and he goes for the pin. Ref, one, two. Oh, barely kicked out at three. Both men have come so close to finishing it. Their finisher, just barely not enough. And Gavin trying for a big comeback here. A clothesline. Another clothesline. Ducks under a punch from... Oh, from John and meets him with a super kick to the face, knocking him flat out. And he's got the signature saved up already. And he slings him against the ropes. Is he going to be able to pull off the signature? It doesn't look like it. Oh, and it turns into an arm drag by John Wick, who he himself is going to go for a pin. One, two. Oh, kick out at two. And Gavin has his finisher once more. Is he going to be able to pull it off again? Oh. He does manage to pull him off into the corner. What's he going for? Oh, he's met with an elbow to the nose. Oh, but John isn't able to take control as Gavin does manage to pull it off again, pulling him into an armbar. He could tap right here. Is he going to tap out the assassin? There's no way he taps out the assassin. No, he does get out of it just barely, though, as he was pretty close to tapping. Oh! Oh, a front flip pile driver. His other finishing move and he goes for the pin one two oh kicked out at three kicked out at two and a half that should have been over I'm pretty sure that was a three count but nonetheless Gavin does continue to try and beat down John Wick as he has evened out the match another sit out Uranagi this time by John Wick he's got his signature ready he's just waiting on Gavin to get back up no he's gonna go for a pin straight after the Uranagi one count, two count, ooh. Kicked out right after two, and Gavin's back up to his feet. He needs to turn around. Oh, he goes for something, but fails, and he's met with a triangle arm lock, and he's going to tap out. Is he going to tap out to John Wick? John Wick could tap him out right here with his signature move. He does manage to get out of it. He's going to, oh, several strikes to the skull, and John is forced to release the hold, and Gavin taking control now. Oh, another twisting neckbreaker from Gavin. Going for the pin. One, two. Oh, two and a half. And Gavin has his signature, and John has his finisher. Which man is going to be able to pull it off? Oh, oh, the signature face buster. One-legged face buster from Gavin. And it knocks John flat. He's going to pin. One, two. Oh, a kick out at two. Just after two. Now he's kicking out sooner and sooner. He's going to have to pull out the finish right here. And he's going to try for it as John barely gets back up to his feet. Oh, the one arm choke slam. Uh, choke slam toss, I guess? Choke slam hip toss, I don't know. And a three count by Gavin Henderson as he reigns dominant again over John Wick, who has not been able to topple Gavin Henderson. He might not be able to beat Gavin. Gavin seems to be on a uh, winning streak of sorts. Other than losing to Ryan, which he will probably have to rematch against Ryan, he has not lost. Granted, his only other two matches have been against the Assassin, but you would figure John Wick, being such a deadly Assassin, he would be able to take down a simple human, a simple civilian of Gavin Henderson but Gavin does manage to pull off the win yet again tonight as we end NXT week one uh, we are going into the uh, Money in the Bank pay-per-view so next time on Raw we will see some uh, some matches leading up to some of the matches that will be in the pay-per-view so uh, you'll just have to tune in next time until then thanks for watching goodbye